iron against meat. That's how we can call what happened the other day in Makiivka. After one big bada boom, the Russian army was deprived of an entire battalion of the enemy. Let me remind you that battalion is from 400 to 600 people. The story, when a whole battalion perishes before even reaching the area of concentration, is not just illiteracy, it is the imperial philosophy, don't pity the soldier, women still give birth. About the 63 dead, which the enemy admits, it is not surprising. Take the real number and remove the last zero. The number should not be round, it is more reliable. The rest will be buried together with the ruins of the former educational institution and declared missing. The cruiser Moscow together with its crew was also first missing because it did not enter the territorial waters of Ukraine. The strike on Makivka, where the AFU destroyed several hundred recruits in one blow, is exactly the same situation that I was talking about in the first days of the announcement of the so-called partial mobilization in Russia, that the flesh is weak and in the confrontation between the GMLRS missile and the meat shield the missile will win with a 99.99% .99 probability. This was not the first such strike, but it was a high-profile one, as in one fell swoop the Ukrainians destroyed virtually a battalion of the enemy. However, dozens eliminated is also a great indicator, but hundreds, this already shows the underlying problem. The Russians are not able to accommodate these masses of mobilized meat. Everything that is located within 50 to 80 kilometers of the front line is under the fire control of the AFU. At the same time, the enemy deployment zone is 2 to 10 kilometers from the front. You can destroy both the warehouse and the location, packed with a biomass of the enemy. And then there are the command posts. But if Russian commanders, after constant attacks on these very command posts, simply fled beyond 100 kilometers from the front line and control the troops on a conditional phone as if it were the First World War, what do the Russian armed forces do with these soldiers? How do you house them? How do you settle them, organize them, and ensure their deployment in combat ranks? The answer is simple, no way. As long as the US continues to supply GMLRS missiles to Ukraine, there is simply no way for the invaders to do so. Before the strike in Makivka there were already such strikes, and they will continue. How then did the Russians manage to attack near Bakhmut? It is simple. Temporarily occupied Donetsk is a huge human shield, in fact it is not just a logistical hub, but also a colossal base where guerrillas, mercenaries from the Wagner Group and recruits of all stripes and categories are based. It is cannibalistic, but effective in its own way. Plus the cons from all over Russia. That is, 50% of those brought will be burned by the Ukrainians, and the other 50%, who are organized into assault groups of 20 to 25 people each, will continue their participation in the meat waves of that same Prigozhan, the former cook of Putin. The good news here is that the cons are also finite, just like the margin of safety of the Wagner Group mercenaries themselves. They are not eternal and they are not infinite. To capture 5 to 10 kilometers of steppe for 6 months of combat action, while losing tens of thousands is not just a dubious success, it is a sign of complete military impotence, bloody absurdity and utter mediocrity. Later it turned out that the mass liquidation of the Russian military on New Year's Eve happened not only in Makivka, but also in Sheikhtask. All these people could have lived peacefully in their towns and villages, if the crazy old man had not decided to play the great conqueror. All these people died in vain, just for nothing. Not a heroic death, but a completely senseless and stupid one, they were simply loaded into a wagon, brought like cattle to some building, and buried under a pile of rubble. And the most shocking thing, is that in Russia itself no one really cares. But I'll tell you about that in the next video.